pop quiz hot shot how do you make fish and a bit of gravel turn out the best organically grown food in the world cabbages bigger than your head and plate sized fish ready to go right from your backyard well folks it's called aquaponics a very simple process where you pump the water from the fish pond up into your grow beds and there's a mega one basically this is what we're going to get going we're going to show you the process today and how you can do your own one at home i was lucky enough to meet murray hallam from practical aquaponics he's just south of brizzy fish are about 14 months old okay. hmm. have me in there again sorry in this tank there's about 48 of them 48 Okay. All right, so it's pretty simple. The fish poo in the water, it goes down in the bottom, and then it, through gravity or a pump, you put it up into your grow beds, and then you get lovely that fruit and vegetables right on your back door, folks. Look at that for a four so A lot of different aquaponics set setups yeah. use an that's, auto siphoning process where the water drains out by itself and starts refilling the grow beds. Pretty simple, folks. Hey. And we get tomato oh, we'll vine at the, at the back. That's ridiculous. Yeah. This is so simple. You've got really shallow grow beds with some gravel like on the side of the road. You don't have to go for the expensive stuff, but you can go to the hardware and get the clay pebbles. That costs a little bit more, but you can pack things in a little tighter. So the only thing left to do is feed the fish. Pretty simple process and that keeps things going. You just got to check the temperature and make sure the fish are fed. And um, and the pump is in the sun. And the pump to the right is the backup pump. Yep, that's just water for yep, pressure. Water, nothing else. Yep, so you've, then you've got gravity again. Gravity feeds the water back to the fish tank. Yep. And off to the grow bit. Okay. There you go, that's the auto siphon. You can see that's full. If you look down there now, that's, that's full of water now and it's just about to overflow. But yeah, Flow mode gravity. The bed fills up. Fills the whole bed up. Yep, and when it gets when the water gets up to the top of the upstand here, yes. then it starts to flow down the pipe, obviously, yep. to escape. Yeah. But because we've got this over it, yep. it will form a suction or a siphon. And it will siphon all the water out of the bed. And as the water gets siphoned down, 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 when the water level gets to here, it starts to suck air. And that breaks the siphon, the siphon stops. So the bed will then fill again. So it's always filling and draining, filling and draining, filling and draining. And that's completely automatic. No, no power. No power, no moving parts. Yep. Nothing. A little bit of PVC pipe, folks. Yep, that's right. Put in the right place at the right time. Yep, that's our seedling raising system. Okay. And here you are. Here's what it looks like under the raft. Wow. And the root system is there. Usually when they're showing a root through the bottom of the of the little tray, see the little roots? Yep. Then we put them in. Filling up the seedling trays every couple of days with water will take four weeks for the lettuce to be ready to be put in the water and then another four weeks till they're ready for the table. And check out the quality. Is that a lettuce or what? I've got to get back, it's too big mate. Have a look at the lettuce. That is ridiculous Murray. Yeah, that's a proper lettuce isn't it? What that's do you reckon? sun organic and nothing but uh, the fish. That's it? Hey. That's amazing. The root system, see? A beautiful clean root system. If you want to replant it, we'll just shove it back in the water and away it'll go again. Believe it or not, because we do all our stuff basically for experimental purposes so we can prove the concept and we keep trying different pumping methods and different growing methods. And well, I think you've stuff. definitely proved uh, proved it works. That? Is that good or what? That's amazing. That, that's beautiful, mate. You could yeah. use that at a wedding. Red oak leaf. Red oak leaf lettuce. Beautiful, mate. How about that? You can pull the lettuce out and you can have a look at it and put it back in the ground. See how nice and white the roots are? Yeah. Shows. And if you take that home and put it in, a, in some water and change the water every day, it'll keep growing for about three weeks. Nice little leaves. See, look at them, how nice they look in a salad. Look at that. Beautiful lettuce leaf. Fresh. Restaurant quality, mate. Fresh as you can ever get. Yeah. Paw paws are sweet because the roots don't go too deep. You can do a whole heap of lettuce in one long tray or you can even do something standing up like lettuce or tomatoes or cucumber for example. Fully sweet system, only a bit of fish poo and some gravel. Yeah, never before touched by a human hand. A little beauty. Wow, big one. Mm. All grain on fish poo. 
All grown on look fish that. poo, mate. That's fish his... poo, look at that, that's a proper... That is a Proper amazing. tomato, what do you reckon? So the hardest bit is deciding which fish you'd like to eat the most. They all have to be the same sort of fish, and it would be helpful if it's the same sort of climate to your local area. So all you do, you start putting your little seedlings into the grow beds. That's a 585 litre, and the top is 200 with a 700 litre tank. Flying into the bed, you know, and that's all by gravity. And we just adjust the flow in to get it right. As far as the plants are concerned, it doesn't matter how long it takes to fill the bed. Okay. Or how long it takes to drain it. There's no magic about that. Okay. The magic is that it gets filled and gets drained. Balcony kit, yep. yep. And that's got in it right now um, 100 Murray cod, small Murray cod. I just can't get over how high the pawpaw trees grow in such a shallow grow bed. Look, you can do this with the kids. And this is something Woolies and Coles don't want you to see, folks. Grow your own at home. This is the homestead kit. You've got the four big grow beds and a nice big fish tank as well. Murray, thanks very much for showing me around, mate. Bloody exciting to see all the stuff you're growing and the great quality and size of it too, mate. Spot on. Wow. Three to pull out and harvest. Just probably a kilo and a half, two kilos maybe. Wow. Taro. Taro, yeah. Taro. There yep. you go. Yep. It's for you. Present for you. Thanks, mate. Brand new, fresh. Beautiful. Give it yeah. to the wife, mate. Grown only with fish poo. Fish poo, mate. Possum got a pawpaw last night. Wow. Mate, Cheeky. So we'll just bury that here in the fish tank and that'll that'll feed the worms. The worms will come and get that. And see all the solids? Look. They're, yep. due, they're due for another washout. Yep. Stay tuned for video number two, where we're fully going to pull apart a big tank and make one from scratch. As you can see, there's heaps of different things you can grow and you've even got your own little worm farm as well. Get some clean gravel from a hardware store and she's all sweet, mate. So if you're growing tomatoes that need high nutrients, you just feed them more often. More fish. fish. That's strawberries here? Yep. Wow. Sweet. Sweet potato, look at it. There you go. Look at that chili plant. Whew. Hot stuff, we had a couple of guys here, so yeah. Wouldn't like another, another chili, would you? No, thanks. Yeah. One chili's enough, enough thanks. Yeah. How are you going, alright? Yeah, eyebrows are burning. <laughs> well, that's about it, folks. You can find Murray Hallam's Practical Aquaponics on Facebook or look him up, Practical Aquaponics, on Google. Fully sweet, mate. Get into it, grow your own. Heaps of fun, and you're going to save plenty of money. Good organic stuff at home, folks. Phew!